does any of this even mean? Like, I just wish there was like a cool, amazing, awesome, informative video like telling me what all of this is. Like, hey, did, did you say you wanted a cool, amazing, informative video telling you what all these different electives are? Yeah, I did. Well, luckily, Tiger TV's got your back. For all of you upcoming 8th and 9th graders, we are going to show you some different electives going on at the school for next year. So come on, I'll show you around. Okay, hello, I'm Mr. Fowdy, and I teach several elective classes here at Marietta High School. If I go through them logically in my mind, we have in, in, Intro to Engineering, which is the course that a lot of uh, introduction students, 8th uh, graders, ninth graders, and, but I get students from all levels who take it. It's a course where we explore the design process and we solve problems, which is the goal of engineers. After you do Intro to Engineering, if you so choose, you can do a class called Principles of Engineering, which is a problem solving, kind of a science fair type class. We do a Rube Goldberg device, we do robotics, we do ballistic devices, all sorts of uh, hands-on problem solving type things. <clears throat> now to support those classes, I have drafting, which is mechanical drawing. It's a course that anyone can take, eighth grade through 12th grade, and you learn to uh, take machine pieces and parts and draw them very precisely in two dimensions and in three dimensions. I teach an architecture course, which is a house design, an architecture two course, which is like a commercial building uh, design uh, type class. I teach AutoCAD, and AutoCAD is a class where you draw strictly using the computer software, and we happen to use Autodesk products, which are like uh, industry standard products. One of my newest classes, and I think the most fun classes, is a scroll saw class. As you can see behind me on the wall, here are some projects that I have made and students have made. Uh, we design a project, you transfer the pattern from the computer or from your mind or from a pattern book onto a piece of wood, and then we cut it and wood burn it and stain it and paint it until we come up with the final product. So as you can see, we have a lot of elective classes you can elect to take them. And a lot of these classes also uh, can earn you articulated credit at Washington State. The Intro to Engineering, the Principles of Engineering, the AutoCAD, and the Drafting 1 and 2 classes uh, are all articulated credit if you meet certain criteria. So uh, I think it's a neat hands-on experience. And if you are interested in any, any of those classes, please feel free to email me, S. Fowdy. Uh, I'm on the high school staff website or just stop by my room 420 at the high school. Right. Okay, hi, my, I'm Mr. Rader. Um, I teach art one through six, sculpting, um, and some other side projects that we do. Basically, um, if you've never had art, I, we usually start with art one, where you learn basic drawing skills teach you how to look and, and at, at objects and, and learn how to record them accurately. And then we move on to color theory, where we hopefully learn how to paint, uh, mix colors, shade, and all that good stuff. And then once you have art one, you can move on to art two, where we take the skills that you've learned in art one and apply them to different mediums, such as uh, watercolor, more painting uh, with acrylics, uh, block printing, and we even do Clay sculpting. Here's an example. If you want to look at one of the coil pots that we're working on. Once you finish with art two, you have the options of moving on to art three and four, where again you get to take um, a little bit more complex projects with using oil paint. Uh, we do some nice group projects. If you haven't noticed around the school building, there are some larger murals uh, that we usually do with with the art threes and fours every year. We even get to do Cool things like uh, this is a kayak that we're currently building. Um, we were halfway through this before COVID hit last year, so we still have this kayak to build. And I'll show you in the other, in the sculpting room, a completed kayak. So uh, my sculpting class, they do more 
uh, ceramics, wire sculpture, start. With the sculpting class, you get to do certain things um, like mixed media sculpture. Um, this is a sculpture based from the artist um, Alberto Giacometti. Okay, we do several clay projects, even the clay busts that you see here. Um, we also work with wood sculptures as well. All right, these are two of the completed kayaks um, that the volunteers from the, the, the 3D sculpting class created. Um, and we actually get to take these out uh, for a field trip each year. Last year and the year before, we went to Salt Fork um, where we'd set up and we'd do on-scene painting and we get to try the kayaks out that they built. Okay, well, I hope you uh, found the information um, that I gave you um, informative. We do a lot more th than that. That's just kind of a tidbit of what we have to offer. And I hope you sign up for um, plenty of art classes. Thank you. Hey guys, this is Mr. Castle. I am the computer science teacher here at the high school. I wanna want point out the classes that I have to offer. For example, we have computer apps, which is Office. That'd be your Word, your Excel, your PowerPoint. And then we do some stuff with Google. So that is computer apps. And then we have desktop publishing. Desktop publisher is, pro, is the program that we use. And then that's the first nine weeks is publisher. And then the second nine weeks is Photoshop. And who does it not like Photoshop? So that is desktop publishing. My last class, this is not the book, but the first nine weeks is HTML. And then, then we finish out the semester with Python, which is the latest programming language. So HTML and Python, and that's called coding class. So we got computer apps, we got desktop publishing, we have coding, and then the last one I have is Lego Robotics. And that's how you pair the park. Um, guys, hope to see you next year. Thank you. Hello, I am Mr. Welch, and I teach most of the uh, ag classes at the high school, as well as shop classes at the high school. And uh, currently you're in a, a home maintenance class. We also offer mechanical principles and wood and metal fabrication, which will allow you to do some uh, basic woodworking and some basic metalworking. Uh, we're gonna run some clips from students that are in the FFA and they have projects outside of school, which uh, also involves the club, which many of the students think is, is very cool. And if you would have any questions, you feel free to email me through my school email, or I can uh, provide you some other means for contacting me. And I would be glad to visit with you, especially over the summer and talk with your parents if you think you might be interested in, in any of the classes, but specifically the FFA and the requirements that go with that. I'm Tarek Washburn and I am cutting my project for my sconce down to the right size with the compound miter saw. Hi, my name is Andrew Gross. I'm in wood and metal. I'm going to be playing on my project for it. today we are planting flowers okay so we're planting flowers I've got to move back a little bit all right go ahead what do you what did you plant yesterday planted some tomatoes planted tomatoes all right and Bethany part of our class with 
the FFA is that we have supervised ag experiences where we do projects outside of school. So can you tell us a little bit about your project? Yeah, uh, I went to Dr. Trans um, in Reno. I volunteered, I guess volunteered, but I went out went there and asked some questions and it was pretty interesting. All right, tell us a little bit more about your observation there. So my observation at Dr. Trans, um, I just asked some questions. I helped clean up a little bit and that's kind of what I did. And it was pretty interesting. Great. And that was as flexible as you wanted it to be, but how many how many days did you actually go to Dr. Shram's? Um, three days a week. Three days a week, that's yes. awesome. All right, thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. Hello, my name is Kesslyn Bigley and I am currently a senior. I've been a member of Marriott FFA for four years now. FFA has really pushed me outside of my comfort zone and provided me with a lot of opportunities from career development events, from pu like public speaking and livestock judging, to supervise agricultural experience, raising lambs, raising a market hog, lawn care, and market, raising market steers, market beef. Um, FFA has became my family and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Hi, my name is Shay and the SAE I did was Nico, my bearded dragon. He's about five year old and he gets romaine lettuce every day. And every two to three weeks he gets a dozen roaches or crickets. I did the CDE of animal judging. It was really fun and I learned a lot about how they have to take animals and how they have to take care of them to take them for fair. And my favorite activity is when we all get together and have cookouts. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mrs. Boothby. I work here in the TMI Center at Merida High School. I teach uh, yearbook. In yearbook, we, um, at the beginning of the year, we focus on photography. We focus on elements of design. Um, we learn uh, various software to edit our photos. Uh, we work with Photoshop extensively, and then we um, we put together, of course, the history of the school year at Marietta High School. This year, our theme is Behind the Mask. Um, if you are in your book, you are assigned particular uh, pages to work on spreads. Uh, you research that topic. You uh, contact, uh, if it's a sport, you contact uh, team members, the coaches. I'm Leah. This is Riley. We're both sophomores and we're working on the senior page for the yearbook. We're finding out who's missing from the pages that don't have names or don't have pictures at all for the yearbook. So I'm Clara. I'm Emily. And we're, we're freshmen. Freshmen. <laughs> and we're going through all of the freshmen and double checking how their names are spelled and that they're all on the page and all on the list. Thank you. Come to the TMI anytime and join yearbook. All right, I wonder what the Spanish class is up to today. <laughs> Soy señora Geller. Hola. Enseñamos el español. Es una clase fantástica. Y muy fácil y es muy buena. Hello, I'm Mrs. Thompson. Hi, I'm Mrs. Geller. We teach Spanish at Marietta High School and it's a fantastic class. We would love for you to join us next year and put Spanish on your schedule. See you later. Adios. Hi student, hi students. Welcome to Chinese Classroom. Now take a look students. Take a look. 
all these characters, amazing characters, are Chinese language. They are one of the oldest languages in the world. Chinese culture is one of the oldest cultures in the world. So, I like to introduce some of the reasons why students should learn Chinese and students should explore the Chinese culture. Let's go! All right, students, take a look. This is Mr. Xu dressing up like a Chinese chef. He's teaching students how to cook Chinese world-famous dumplings to welcome the coming of a festival. And this is one of the most favorite activities students enjoy every year. Right now, eighth graders are dressed up to take part in a Chinese dragon parade. Look how excited the students are. Mr. Xu is teaching his students how to play table tennis, the Chinese national sport. Because of his excellent skill, Mr. Xu earned the title King Kong of Ping Pong. All right, don't wait there. Come to join us. Let's have fun together in the Chinese exploratory classroom. See you there. Hi, I'm Scott Reeder. I'm the high school choir director. Wanted to let you guys know about some of the classes that we're offering in the high school choir program. We're really excited to be offering some new classes. Next year, in particular, we're adding what's called a mixed chorus. So students will enjoy a fun and relaxing atmosphere centered around a constantly evolving repertoire of musical theater, classics, and contemporary music. You'll learn the fundamentals of good choral singing and musicianship while getting to know each other and learning to sing in a safe, and trusting environment. This year's sixth graders, when you come up to seventh grade, will automatically be roll, enrolled into mixed chorus, into that class. If you sign up for choir, you'll automatically go into the mixed chorus as a seventh grader next year. This year's seventh and eighth graders will also automatically be enrolled in mixed chorus if you sign up for choir, but you will have the option to audition to participate in one of our, one of our high school level groups as well. Those auditions will take place in April, and I'll provide audition information to Mr. Benson and also to your guidance counselors when the time comes. So again, if you sign up for choir for next year, you will go into mixed chorus. If you would like to audition for either treble, bass, or cantabile choir, those auditions will take place in April. So you have a lot of different opportunities, especially those seventh and eighth graders coming up. A lot of opportunities to participate in some of the higher level ensembles if you choose to audition. In addition to our vocal ensembles, we also offer two handbell choirs. We have a Bells 1 and a Bells 2. Our Bells 1 class is for our beginning ringers. Bells 2 will be for our more advanced, experienced ringers. If you choose to sign up for a bell choir as a 7th or 8th grader this year, coming in as an 8th grader or freshman next year, you will automatically be enrolled, enrolled into Bells 1. If you have bell ringing experience and are a pretty good sight reader, pretty good music reader, you can audition to be in Bells 2. But those auditions will take place at the beginning of next school year. I really hope you will consider joining us next year for the high school choir program. We have a blast in our choir program. It's a very active, active program. We do lots of concerts, we travel, we do contests. We do a musical in the spring, as some of you have participated in that in the past. I'm really excited to see what we do next year and for the 2022 and 2022 so for next school year we're also planning a trip to music city nashville tennessee so you won't want to miss out on that make sure you sign up for choir talk to your guidance counselors for more information hi i'm chloe patterson and i'm a freshman in high school hi i'm kaylee perry and i'm a freshman in high school we think you should join choir as a seventh like coming up to high school because you are going to make more memories and more friends and my singing ability has been better since I've been in high school. Um, it's scary coming in but they're very welcoming and they help you with whatever you need and they'll always be here for you. Hi my name is Megan O'Neill. I'm a sophomore and I've been in the choir program since sixth grade and 
I do the musicals and I am in Bella Voce, which won't exist next year, and Cantabile. Um, the thing that I love most about the choir program is the sense of community. Uh, all of the people in all the choirs, those are my friends. And we do everything together. Um, we come here for rehearsals and then we do everything outside of classes because these are the people that know what I'm thinking. These are the people that have the same interests as me. And that sense of community really gets you through the hard times and really has your back throughout everything. I'm Molly Ketchum and I'm a senior in high school. My name is Michaela Welch, I'm also a senior. I'm Reid Holt and I'm also a senior. We think that you should do choir because it's a musical outlet that you can't get in any other program in the school except for maybe band. It's something unique, creative, and a bunch of fun. I think that you would love it here. I've done this for four years and I can say it's one of the better decisions I've ever made. Never leaving, being constantly involved and doing everything I can made me such a better person and I think it can for you too. And the memories you make are great and you will remember them forever. So here's an example of some of the things that we've done throughout the years. Uh, this is our photo board that we have out in our hallway. You know, our trip to New York City, we got to go see uh, Frozen on Broadway. Here's a picture here of our Little Mermaid production that we did. Also some pictures from our high school musical production that we did last year. And notice too all the smiling faces. This is not something I made them do. They love to do this stuff. Our students love to be in the choir program. We have a blast. And I'm hoping that some of you will choose to join us uh, next year. Thank you. Hey guys, uh, my name is Mrs. Warren and I teach journalism. Um, in our journalism class, we write articles and put together pages for the original, which is our school newspaper. We're also responsible for the content and um, uh, creation of Tiger TV, which we put out monthly, and we run a website as well. Hi, I'm Laurel. I'm a senior this year. Uh, like Ms. Warren said, we work on editing the pages to get printed for the newspaper. Um, hopefully by the time you guys get here, we'll have paper copies again. For now, we're just doing them online. Um, but this is entertainment. We write about the halftime show, Kanye and Kim's divorce, uh, the Golden Globes. So we get to cover all kinds of stuff, um, what you write about. Yeah. And if you come to journalism, you can make fun uh, videos like this for your school. Uh, I'll show you some clips of some stuff we've made in the past. On this bite, so we're just gonna see how it is. It's um, you couldn't really taste the jalapeno. Not sure what that's about. Um. What's up, guys? Saw your TV here, and uh, as you can see, uh, we just let out from the wonderful High School Musical performance. Uh, we're gonna get into interview a couple of the leads and the crew, and uh, it was a great performance in my opinion. I loved it. Let's see what they had to say. Welcome, Haley, and for all of you other guys coming to high school, I hope you guys learned a bit about uh, the electives here. 